Hi, this is Mark Taylor Canfield in Seattle, where I'm a journalist and an advocate for freedom of the press. I serve as executive director for Democracy Watch News, which is a nonprofit group that covers challenges to democracy worldwide. Without a free press and a well informed public, democracy is weakened and authoritarianism is allowed to reign. I want to thank the five nations who are hosting this summit for democracy. I appreciate this opportunity to hear from political representatives, NGOs, expert panels, and members of the press about the current threats to democracy and freedom of expression internationally. You see, I believe it is the obligation of all journalists to speak out against threats to freedom of the press and to foster ethical and transparent news organizations which can give a voice to our members of society who have been oppressed and ignored by those who wield power and authority. Unfortunately, there has been an increase in the repression and harassment of press in many countries around the world. According to the Committee to Protect Journalists, there have been at least four journalists killed this year. 363 have been imprisoned since 2022, and 65 are currently missing globally. So it's become a very dangerous place to be a journalist in some parts of the world, and authoritarian governments are constantly attempting to silence and in some cases, completely eliminate the free press. So I'd like to give a shout out to organizations who serve as advocates for journalists and protectors of press freedom and thank them all for their tireless work. There are many fine examples, but a few groups who deserve mention are the aforementioned Committee to Protect Journalists, Reporters Without Borders and their World Press Freedom Index, Reporters Committee for Freedom of the Press, the International Federation of Journalists, Transparency International, the European Center for Press and Media Freedom, Freedom House, the International Consortium of Investigative Journalists, the U.S. Press Freedom Tracker, the Freedom of the Press Foundation, Project Censored, and the Forbidden Stories Project. Now, there are many more courageous and dedicated individuals and organizations who devote themselves to promoting freedom of the press and who serve as advocates for journalists. We want to thank everyone who has put themselves on the line to stand up for press freedom and democracy. We salute you.